Today I will be comparing QuickBase with FileMaker and specifically making changes and customizations uh, between the two different applications. So um, for starters, uh, both of these applications will be contact uh, management applications and we will start with QuickBase. So here with QuickBase, um, this is the dashboard here. I already started this application from one of over 800 templates that are available in QuickBase, and this one had a good review, so I started with it, and I went ahead and imported some sample contacts as well. So uh, we will go to the list of contacts here, and I want to make changes within um, each contact. So we'll start here with Alan, and um, you can see you have some of his information here, but I'd like to add um, notes field to take notes on um, personal notes as well as sales notes. Um, so to make these changes, first we have to add a field. Um, so you go to the settings and fields. You can see here the list of fields already available. I need to add a new one. So uh, the field name will be sales notes. Make it multi-line text and add. See it's down here. Make another one. Okay, so we have made the two different new uh, fields that we are needing. So we will exit the settings and go back um, to the application. So it's already here, but I want to make some some changes on here. So uh, we'll have to customize this form. And as you can see, um, it's just a long line of of different things we are needing. So um, starters, let's make it um, a text field or section heading rather that shows um, where the notes begin. So we'll add that and then we already have sales notes and personal notes. So uh, with QuickBase we can preview these changes. Take a look at it here, apply changes and save. Um, so now you're on this field and you're on this form rather than you we like to think you can make the changes right off the bat, but you can't. You actually have to click edit here in the top corner, and that's where you can begin to make some notes like maker, and you can make some, some personal notes like uh, his birthday is in May. And then um, to apply these changes, it doesn't happen right away. You have to go up and hit save. Um, so now you can see for Alan here, the changes are there. And if we were to go to the next record, Annette, it would be the same thing applies where we'd have to go in and edit and make those different changes. So that is uh, QuickBase. Um, it's fairly static. You will also notice when making these different changes, uh, there's open space here. If you want to add even more, you'll have to go even further down the page um, and, and scroll to get down there. Uh, so this is QuickBase. Um, so now we will take a look at FileMaker. So this FileMaker application um, was created from one of the 16 starter solutions or templates uh, that are available from FileMaker that they've made. Uh, this is the contacts starter solution that I've made and uh, I've imported some of these contact records uh, from a Excel spreadsheet. So first thing I like to note here with the Star Solution, it does come with different layouts for iPad, iPhone, uh, web view as well, but we'll be specifically looking at this test desktop view. So we have Alan here. You can see it has some of the same information from QuickBase since it was imported from uh, the same spreadsheet. Uh, you'll see it comes with the notes, but like in QuickBase, we want to make those changes so it says sales notes as well as personal notes. So we will go to edit layout to make these changes. Right away you can tell that FileMaker is fully customizable. You can make a lot of different changes here. Uh, we can really put anything wherever you want it on this layout. Uh, these blue guidelines are to show you how to line things up uh, to make sure everything is nice and neat and you can make the layout uh, bigger and smaller here as well. Um, so again we don't want to have these notes here. We want to be able to have both so we'll delete that and I'm going to make tabs to go back and forth between sales notes and personal notes and this will give us the best use of the space here available. So I need to make these tabs so we'll have sales notes and personal notes 
and create these and right away you can tell that uh, there's also different changes you can make even within the tabs to make it even more customizable but this here is fine so made it you can see the sales notes personal notes so now we need to make fields to be able to add that content within this layout so we will go to the field picker and this is an easy way to add new fields and put into the layout here so we'll make sales notes and we will drag and drop that in here I'll go ahead and resize it so it better fits in the space here available and I will make the notes area bigger as well so there's sales notes and we'll just make the personal notes Again, drag and drop that on over, readjust that size, put it in here, and we'll make the notes area bigger as well. So now, uh, to make these changes, we just exit layout. Yes, we do want to save these changes. And now you see down here we have uh, the sales notes and personal notes. We can make changes in here, sales notes. He is the decision maker and personal notes his birthday is on may 2nd so um you can see here you know the differences between filemaker and quickbase with quickbase when you're making those changes on that form for that contact uh screen just like this you can only go straight down and continue to add down um and having to scroll through that but here with filemaker it is fully customizable you you saw earlier you can really put things anywhere you want it make good use of space with different tab controls here and uh, go from there so um, these are the main differences between the two uh, FileMaker has a lot more flexibility as opposed to QuickBakes thank you